Right, in this video we're actually going to create a, and make a, our own form master quite cheaply with parts from that I've purchased from eBay. Uh, all the links to these pieces that I bought from eBay are, can be found in the description. So you can click on those links and go straight to the items. Um, so they're quite easy to find and buy on there if you want to do this as well. Now form masters have been around for quite a, quite a few years. Um, and they've not changed that much, although new companies have come along and sort of changed the, uh, the way they've been built by putting kind of arm sleeves and, and things like that and, and different clips and different ways of doing them. But you'll actually find on the internet if you search that there is actually a, a US patent for the actual original kind of form master. And it actually even shows you a diagram here of actually how it was kind of, uh, how, how it was made and put together if you need to see the sort of cross-sectional diagram of that. But basically, if you want to make your own form master, these are the kind of pieces that you really need. <clears throat> now the first piece <clears throat> excuse me, that you need to buy is a 550 piece of paracord. Now this is actually a meter length that I bought, and it was a pound delivered. Um, I basically all I've done is I've, I've, I've put it in half and put a double knot on the end. So you need a piece of 550 para paracord. That link is in the description. Then you need your nylon webbing. Now this is, I bought five meters of this. Um, you don't need to, you probably need about, I would say about a meter per form master. Um, but it was cheap enough anyway, about two pounds 75 delivered. And it's 25 millimeter uh, webbing, nylon webbing. So there's a roll of that. And now you, then you will need um, an eyelet or grommet um, hole punch. Now there's uh, one, one piece here actually creates the hole in your, uh, in your paracord, paracord web, in your nylon webbing. And the other piece, you put the uh, eyelets through there and then hit that with a hammer. Bang, to, to uh, To make them uh, to make them work now so you need those that comes in a kit you may find you get some grommets in your kit as well but the ones i bought weren't big enough so i basically uh, bought a separate um, packet of of eyelets as well now when you first cut your uh, your your nylon webbing you need to make sure that it's kind of long enough for your for your arm and this is one that I've kind of put together already. And in this one, in this example, I've got two pieces. Um, uh, two pieces of cut, about 30 centimeters each. And I've just laid them in, inside each other. And then what I've done is I've burnt a hole through them. As you can see, now I burnt my hole through with a soldering iron, but what you could do is heat something up on the stove um, on the hob, a piece of metal, without burning yourself, and just put a hole through it, just burn a hole through it. Another thing that you will need to probably do is once you cut this um, webbing, is that the ends will fray, so it's really a good idea to actually burn the ends so that they sort of go hard and brittle, because it's just nylon material anyway, and that'll stop them from, from, uh, from the thread unwinding off of them. So what I'd then do next, once I've done that, is I would actually put my grommet on there and I'll show you this once I've done it. So my grommet would go through actually two sets, I would do one on there because it's not deep enough to go through to, through four pieces of webbing. So I would have those punctured on there and then the paracord piece would go through both of the loops on there. So I'll show you that once I've done that. Another design, that was one design that I was coming up with. This is another rather more simple design. What I've done here is I've actually cut two pieces, or should I should say one piece really, of the nylon webbing. Uh, that is roughly about 40 centimetres, 80 centimetre length, if you can see that, an 80 centimetre length. 
And what I've done is I've just put a grommet through one hole there and then tied on my paracord through the hole. I'll put it back through gently. Then what you should have is just a loop really to put your arm through. Now what you'd normally do is you'd put your arm through here and this piece would come either side of your elbow and tie on like that. So it's a simple one piece, there's no sort of joining. You then just double knot the kind of paracord piece here on the end. So that's one simple design and I've used that and it works. The only problem with it is the, uh, the piece of cord coming through is neither, isn't in the, middle of your, uh, in the middle of your elbow, it's kind of top or bottom. So this other one that I'm about to do, the actual cord will actually go right through the middle, come through the middle of your arm. Um, and you just got to make sure with this one that I've used, um, I have to make sure that I wear a kind of a long sleeve top because it can kind of, the, uh, the nylon webbing can pull on your arm quite a bit. Okay, so what I've done now is I've put the actual the grommet holes or the eyelet holes in there, I've hammered them on and I've basically trimmed off the edge and attacked it with a soldering iron again to stop it from fraying on the edges. On this one I've actually made the, cord, the, the piece of uh, nylon webbing on the inner side uh, slightly shorter so it just fits the bottom of your elbow a bit better. So I'm just going to take my piece of paracord now and all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this looped end, the single loop end that's going to attach and loop round to the bow. So I want to keep that at that end. Um, so I'm going to thread it through this way round. He says, if you can get it through. By the way, the eyelet holes um, I used were 6.35 millimeter uh, to 12 point by 12.7 millimeter. If you want to know the measurements, and the double paracord cable there just seems to go through. So we've drawn that through on the end there. But what I'm going to do is instead of just having that pull through, I'm just going to loop, just put a tie another knot in there. But what you're going to need to find is, and this is going to vary depending on your kind of draw length really, this original one here that I made with a different, slightly different design, if I line them up um, and they go onto my shoulder, onto my elbow the same way, you need to be, when your fingers are on the end here, or when they're closed, kind of on your finger tab really, you need about an inch towards the end of the string, any further than an inch. And you'll find if you shoot an arrow with the four master, the arrow will go longer than sort of two or three meters. So you know you've got it at the wrong distance. If you have sort of this much left, um, your arrows will fly further. So you want about an inch towards the end, because to, obviously this bit will be where the string comes in when it's wrapped around the string. So this bottom one really is too long for what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this piece back. I'm just going to re-knot it further along. So that's roughly the same sort of length there. And then what you could do is you could always knot it again. Just to get another double knot in there. So that's kind of quite secure. Now be careful when you're first shooting, trying your first draw with the form master that you've made, just to make sure that nothing goes wrong and you don't have dry, dry firing your bow. Um, the weak point really will probably be in your grommet area where you've put the grommets in if you haven't sort of put those in very well. Nothing else is really going to pull through. Um, so there we go, two different designs. This one here, probably the sort of nicer one that I just did, where your elbow would actually go, go through this piece. If we can see, one piece above, 
probably want that one. Let me go in the other way, actually. Let's wrap that around. If it was on a bow, it'd be slightly different. But there you go. So you can see that's there, going all the way through to that piece there. So that's one of the designs. If you wanted to do this one, this other first one that I did, which is a lot easier because it's kind of one piece of, uh, of paracord, of, uh, sorry, of webbing, I would suggest, and I haven't had it done yet because I was going to get my wife to do it on the uh, sewing machine, is to put a line of, uh, of thread on the sewing machine here so that the loop doesn't come, so it just runs up and down where you need it and it doesn't unravel itself completely and you're a while trying to put it back together. So there we go.